These are marshmallows. What are you laughing at? Uh, Nisi said, Salaam Alaikum. Oh, thank you, Nisi. I'm just waiting for people to pick up the marshmallows. <laughs> We're following Fozzie around her kitchen, look. I'm just going to chill on my phone for a bit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually going to make me walk and I'll stop it. Hang on. Hi, Nisi. Marshmallow, there's a pile of marshmallows here with a chef behind them. Posey just made these marshmallows herself. Are you going to be telling everyone how to do that? Hello? Yeah. See what happens when you get stuck on a phone? You're going to ignore it. Look. I'm responding to a question. What are you making today? Are we starting? It's one o'clock. Is just an east on here? No. There's four. You've got... <laughs> You've got four fans online now. <sighs> Wait, what are you going to make today? We are making chicken bindi. A bit controversial, actually. A bit like, what's bindi? What's bindi? And we're making some scones. We shall see how we go. Definitely some sweet scones, maybe some savoury scones. But we'll see how we go. Uh, Nisi said, yummy. Is mother there with your niece? How was your birthday? How was Nanny's birthday yesterday? Happy, oh, hang on, we have to sing the happy birthday song. So, it was Deb's mother's birthday yesterday, and it was a very big birthday. Yeah. Happy birthday, Deb. 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 Happy birthday, David, we know you're there. You're in there. You're second in the running. But I think my sister-in-law is like there. She was one minute ahead of you online as well, probably. Shall we prep? Shall we start? Yeah. Okay. Right. Say hello, Mr. Chowdhury first. Hello. Hi, everybody. Welcome to today's edition. So today we are going to be focusing on the bindi. Okay, right, and a lot of people don't know how to cook bindi. Okay, hang on, before we start, I'm going to show you my injury. Injury, okay. So, Mr. Chowdhury's into these big sharp knives and blades and stuff like that. I went to the butcher's yesterday and got some chicken, and he didn't cut it off for me. He left me a whole chicken in the bag when I checked this morning. Right, so I ended up having to butcher the chicken myself. I felt as if I was on MasterChef where they do that, you know, that thing at the beginning those test things and you have to butcher something Well, I had to butcher my chicken. Anyway, we're going to start with the curry first. Well, he gave you a live chicken. Yeah, well, well a live one. I didn't quite do that far, but we have to. It felt as if I was going back to, my mum used to make us cut chickens. So I knew what I was doing vaguely. But anyway, I had to use a brand new knife out of that knife kit, the Damascus knives. So I kind of like chopped a bit of my skin, so we covered. Not this one, it was the new one. This is one I've used quite a lot now, actually. So this Carol is says she, she hopes this you're is, okay. Oh, I'm fine. I'm just, I'm just being dramatic about it. Okay, anyway. Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to start with my favourite pan going on. Mum said it yes. wasn't, it wasn't Pindy that made me sick. It was Gorilla. Which is? Um, it is Bitter Melon. Oh, go I think gourd as well. Bitter 
really bit onions. I've done a little bit extra as in because you're going to have the chicken and you're going to have the pindi, so you want a bit of sauce going on there. So let's slice up your onions. These have been washed, ready. I always peel them first because there's a lot of faffing around with peeling onions, I think. So let's just get the curry started, okay? The chicken is in the fridge, it is washed. It is. I'm using chicken on the bone. And I hope most of you will use chicken on the bone for chicken bindi because all the flavour is in the bone. I'm sorry to say whether you like it or not. You could use chicken breast if you're being pedantic. But, you know. Uh, by the way, that's Fozzie's favourite word. Pedantic. <laughs> oh, do you know, Seb, I have been told, Seb, about my traumatic day yesterday. This chopping of the fingers, nothing. So, let's get the onions in the pan. Yesterday, <sighs> feel traumatised thinking about it. So yesterday I was making... Well, don't tell anyone then. No, I have to tell you about this because there was curry sauce everywhere. There was pasta sauce everywhere. Literally, right, so... Uh, did Fozia say she washed the onions? Yep. Yes, I did. They were bathed. They've been washed, bathed, everything done. They were bathed in a... washed. Okay. So I'm chucking in about three and a small extra one onion. Okay. You can take them into the shower with you. I didn't take them into the shower with me. I've had them peeled and done ready beforehand. Okay, so. Anyway, so we've made. You um, if you're from the Caribbean, onion is spelt with a H at the beginning. Onion, okay. Listen to a saga. I'm oh. trying to tell you my saga, what happened. So, Mr. Chowdhury, a few days ago, decided he wanted pizza. Oh, yeah. Do you remember that thing, that pizza? So, I made, which is fine, we made some pizza couple of days ago um, and I made some nice sauce, tomato based sauce, it was really nice so I thought yes last night I'm going to have prawn linguine and Mr Chowdhury doesn't like prawn linguine do you? You don't like don't spaghetti like or yeah he doesn't like all that sort of stuff I'm not a fan so of I made some tuna pasta, don't get me wrong he had tuna pasta so we did feed the man right anyway but I got this bowl of this sauce out the fridge so 300 mils I'm going to use no, I'm going to use 300 mils. 300 mils of oil, everyone. This is the important mils. part. Let's go for it. Okay. Let's have some nice flavour. Right. You can use half oil, half ghee. You're using it, so I think that's fine. Okay. And we've got some cinnamon stick, bay leaf, cloves. Pop cinnamon stick, bay leaf, and cloves. Also, Did you get that, niece? Niece. Niece, concentrate. Right. So also, I like the chunky chilies. You know the big ones. These are, oh, there's a special name for this. Somebody told me this as well. Elisa Work, and my old work told me this, what it was. And it's actually quite a posh name for these. I'm putting three in because it's a big curry. It's going to, yeah, you've got a so lot of chicken in. It's like a... It's a mild chilli, okay, so it's not heat hot chilli. Okay. Amira's, so anyway, I've got this. Amira's oh, Amira. So I've got this sauce out of the fridge. It was in a little bowl, so it was enough for me. Right, well, nothing. Right. So, come over to the here. Literally, I had cling film on it. It went flat. It literally splatters everywhere. Tripped on my hand, didn't even know how. And this whole sauce, and there's not that much left in the bowl, which I used. So I thought, no, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to salvage this. Ginger's going in. So then I salvaged it, right? How put much in the frying pan. It's about two in? inches. So, and then I put in, so I put that into the frying pan, put my prawns in, a bit extra bit of garlic and that. Then do you know those plastics, black pepper things? That so you mm. can never open. That so you mm. can never open. What happened yesterday? Into it, my brown pan? It splattered open with black peppercorns everywhere. An impossible container open. Yeah. So I ended up with this meal. Ah. Half the tomato sauce that I wanted. And full of... I was just picking out black peppercorns out of this way. I was just like... Ah. Anyway, that was my trauma last night. I think you broke the camera while you were saying all that. It's not focusing. Oh. David said uh, his ghee that he made last week is really is amazing. It is nice, isn't it? It is nice using ghee and stuff. Um, yeah, I've used half ghee and half oil if you're using get sort of thing. Does the ghee get better with age? I don't know. I thought so. I would have thought so though. Noreen said um, they're called bullet chilies. Ah! There they are. There is a nicer name. There's a very, I'm going to find out from it. I'm going to tell you next week. I'll text them these later. So garlic is going there's in. There's a very posh English name, you know, for Posey it. Posey is forgetting posh. to actually tell you what she's doing. Ginger? I put garlic ginger. in. There's no garlic in So there. it's just ginger. Stop it. You know I don't put garlic at the beginning because what happens with garlic? I don't know. Burns. You don't put garlic in. Not at the beginning. You know it's going to burn. 
And I like a good cooking because don't forget this is going to be a substantial meal. So if you don't want to use chicken and you are completely veg, you can double up. And I said I've got about 550 grams of bindi okra. So you can just double up and do a kilo. You can, you know, you do one if you want to, you know. I'm not going to sit there and say you've got to do this. Uh, You're just following the principles of it. Amira said it's not just me who these mishaps happen to. Oh, uh, yes, it was traumatic. It was just, I just looked at this and I was eating black peppercorns. I think I was literally, it was more about black, black peppercorns than prawns, definitely, yesterday. So I was like, oh. So that's why I made the marshmallows. I felt traumatized. I needed something sweet, which is why I made marshmallows. I just decided I was going to make marshmallows. You'll have to go through that recipe with everybody. Yeah. Do you know what? It's really easy. But the only thing about marshmallows is you do need one of those big posh blendery things. You know, the one that big noise that I put on, uh, or even like a cheap one, mouldy, whatever. I don't care what. But you do need one of those to make marshmallows. So I don't really want to make people go out and buy big blenders or something like that. Uh. Right. I've also got the coriander. So what do I what did I say about the stalks? Eat them. So sure. use them. Right, let me wash it and wash it. Let me wash it. Right. I'm gonna take the stalks off. We'll use some of that. Okay, probably that back for Chicken pindi and scones you're doing as well. I don't think I you am mentioned that part. Scones. I am. I don't think she mentioned that. We are doing scones. It's all over there. You can see it's all over there. Oh, put your oven on your... Uh, put your oven on. Put your oven on if you do scones. 200 degrees. Stick your oven on. Jeez, Oven's on, on please. Make sure it's nice and hot. Get your oven on. Okay, so your base is in there. Right. What I'm going to do is, because the garlic is here... No, the coriander is here, sorry. It's in this bowl, it's in one of these blue bowls with this sort of flying everywhere. I just was like, oh my god. So you've, anyway, you've used the stalks. I want to use this at the end to garnish, you know, you always like to give it a nice bit of flavour at the end. So I'm just going to chop it off and put it in the bowl out of the way. Right. Because it's here. Right, I'm going to just prep my garlic and then we'll go on to scones because I don't want to turn around. And the onions are brown. So it'll take about five, ten, about ten minutes, the onions, to get a nice colour. And you can freeze coriander, some people are against freezing it, and it's fine. Just put it in a little plastic bag and just take it out when you need it. So think, well, I've got a fresh one because the stalks. I like getting a fresh one. Yeah, okay, right. So get your garlic in. So get your garlic ready. Okay? Do not put it in here. Right, I was going to make, oh, feel traumatised about the cake side, you know, today, because I was also going to make Battenberg, oh, I've got, I've got so many things I want to make, you know. Right, the first thing I wanted to make was meringue nest. Right, everybody's put me off meringue nest, right? Raymond Blanc went and did it yesterday morning on his first programme, like, yesterday, I was like, the man's beaten to it. So I want to make meringue nests. Nest. You know, you've had them, it's really nice and like so. Then my brother wants me to do Battenberg cake. Then my friend says she doesn't want marzipan, but I do. So, look. Right, so, oh, so many dilemmas as to what to do it. Anyway, so that's so many thoughts what we have to make, what we're doing next. So I'm going to just push up my garlic while I'm thinking about what we're going to do next. But today is scones. My sister said do scones. This is our sal. She's probably tutoring at the moment and she'll join us in a bit. Okay, so get you garlic ready. I do use a full bulb, you do need full flavour, I don't care what anybody says, one or two cloves is not good enough. Amira, I hope your lamb turned out, Amira's asking me some advice about some lamb this morning. I hope that lamb turned out okay in the end. She's been cooking away for last little morning. Well, like how to look after a lamb? Well, might have been a bit of a lamb stew, that went a bit. She was following some dodgy recipes. She actually said to me, I have to cook up, make a cookery book as well. I can like do, but I think we've got a lot going on at the moment. So, we're doing, right, I don't know, I've been contemplating life as well yesterday. This was another thing. This is the reason why I'm going to about the cook along. Hang on, you need to do creme caramel. Oh stop! Is that Yamima again with a crab? Is that Yamima? Is that Yamima again? Yeah. 
we'll get there. We will. I'm just joking with you, to be, but I just I fancy it's gone. This is the scones, and I fancy it's gone. Grand caramel is not every cup of tea as well. You know, you're never going to please anybody. Are everybody are you though? To be honest, you're not going to please. I'm getting garlic down my pocket as well. Well, the kitchen temperature rises quite quickly, so I'm going to open that door. door. Open the door. You know the phrase, if it's, if you can't stand the heat, turn on the air conditioning. Right. Get yourself all prepped. Uh, do muffins, David. Too easy. Come on, David. I'm joking, I'm joking, all right? I'm joking, I'm joking. I'm joking. Right, do you know, I'm going to just discuss the cook along again a bit, right? So, everybody knows we're doing the frozen curries and that, right? And I decided to do them, possibly on a bit of a win, wasn't it? Because I got, no, actually, I got asked to do some charity stuff. And a Monday is my charity day. So, we cook for Elmos, which is Little Muslim Outreach Society, which helps the homeless and refugees and stuff like that. But my part is cooking for anybody over 50 years old who is vulnerable or who can't cook, can't afford it. They approach Elmos. I cook for them every Monday. Uh, I'm over 50. So they asked me to cook for them. Yeah, and do you know what? I know I was thinking about telling Tahu this about that. I think this year I'm allowed to go into that group and I'll have some of the food as well. I'm, I'm I, think, 50. I think we're allowed it, aren't we? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think we can say we're vulnerable. I'm asthmatic. Just give it that. I think it might do it. It might get that right. So anyway, so. Anyway, so I want to cook for what you call a dark kitchen. You mean I said that who wants to be a millionaire? Oh, he hasn't heard anything about it yet. He's quite upset about that. So he has to wait. Yeah. So anyway, I'm not putting that in here. We'll, we'll do our own millionaire programme. So then I decided, because I've got this, I'm going to be Cumber, Cumber Amani. I needed, um, you need a tea towel. We'll be using all of these pans. You need a tea towel. Because they're hot. Um, so I thought I've got the space to cook. What else can I do? And then I remember looking, I'm thinking online food, and that's how the frozen food really just developed in last June. Was like, okay, you want to do something online? And I didn't want to be standing there serving, trying to serve hot foods in the middle of the night. I just can't bother doing all the night stuff. So I just thought, daytime, cook some curries, vlog it online, sorted. And that's my plan. Six months late, six months it took, six months, don't get me wrong. So, and then we've gone back to this cook along part. And I was like, why are you doing the cook along when you're selling curries as well? Do you know what? The cook along keeps people busy. It keeps people happy. And people want to join in. And it's a bit of fun. And I might get it wrong. And we might get it wrong as we're going along. But we're going to get it all wrong together. So, you know, it's, it's good fun, basically. And, it, you know, gets people back cooking as well. You've got your dinner cup for the day, basically. Okay, you might need to make some breads. But you've got your dinner cup for the day. And it's good. It's good. Breads. Come on, uh, you know, look. Here, which is why niece is now our big fan because she comes and chats to us so so, and niece is ever sister sort of thing. so we don't speak to her all week but she chats to us all the time on here what have you done so far then so we've done the base we started with onions three to three and a half onions chopped up and then about 300 mils of oil i put chunky chilies and you don't have to you just basic is the garlic and ginger um if you've got kids and want to keep it mild keep the chilies out that's fine i like using if Obviously, sometimes you won't have coriander stalks in. Use the coriander stalks. If you do, bay leaf. And I use bay leaf. Not everybody uses bay leaf. I like the flavour of it. Cloves and cinnamon sticks. So it's a bit of everything inside there. Garlic is ready to go in, but I won't put the garlic in until the onions are cooked. Uh. So they're nearly there. Okay? So while we're going on to that, I did say scones would be the other option today. So scones. I am using Jane Patisserie's recipe. I always like to who? acknowledge Who's? the chefs. Jane, who does who did my brownies? Jane. Jane Patisserie. It's just another chef online, okay? So I'm using it. You always acknowledge, you should always acknowledge who you get your recipes off, right? Okay, love the firm flavour off that. So this is 350 mils of self-raising flour. Right. So you need to put a pinch of salt in it. Thank you. Amira bought me this last year. I love this pot. So my salt is in there, so to get a pinch of salt. Put it inside there, okay? Right. Uh, I don't tend to put butt sugar in straight away, but it's, oh, you need a bit. Right, for the scones to rise, you do need self raising agents, so self raising flour and the baking powder as well. And, so gonna, and the baking powder. Baking powder. I'm gonna get a teaspoon. Chuck in some baking powder. 
keep one eye on this, don't forget. Okay. Right, so baking powder, a teaspoon. I didn't even know what I said on the list, but let's go with a teaspoon, it should work. Okay, a teaspoon and a half. I don't normally use baking powder in cakes anymore because there's enough rising agent inside them. So why did you, you do it then? Because scones need to rise even more. Because people put bicarbonate in it, everything inside it. Now you do need some butter. Gotcha. But the butter has to be cold, so it's in the fridge. Right. right, cold. It's really cold, cold butter. butter. That's important in scones. Is uh, David it said cold. that Posia's kitchen is huge. She wants a bigger one. I need to get a big table. I want a bigger kitchen. I'm telling you, this is happening. This is like this is like. She's never size. happy. <laughs> right. Okay. So this is like literally blocks. So some people say grate it in even. Well, you know, we're just going to go and crush it all in again, just like I did last so time. So it's cold. So 100 grams in this one, so the other 100 grams is for the savoury scones. I'm just following the same principle and not doing the savoury version. 100 grams of cold butter. Approximately. Let's go with a tiny bit more. Okay, I'm going to put that back in the fridge. It looks like cheese. Right, so you need to crumble this down. Okay, just basically go for it. One eye on that. No, that's okay. Skips. Shasta says salam. I'm Shasta. What time do you call this? <laughs> I'm very good, Shasta. You know, I, I said this last week. A lot of them do teach as well on a Sunday. There are all these teachers that pretend to, that they're working and stuff like that. So, bless their cotton little socks. So. I know she's taking time out probably. Probably we schedule the class though, we shy as well. So Especially. crumble the butter in. Yeah. Just like you did it. You can put this in a blender, you know one of those machine blender things which I've taken out. I could have done that sort of thing, but you know, I always like just packing butter and flour. I, I, I do, I like making my own pastry. This is like uh, home economics lessons in school. I've always done that. I just I feel like now jello when I'm doing this, you know, you just like that. I always think, oh, do you know. And you have to make but your own words up. I know. God knows, no, I'm not that posh. Look, there's scousers here, come on, let's get this right. Definition of posh is not make your own words up, Fozzy, like, <laughs> me, me cro Oh yeah, 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 do you remember that one? <laughs> oh, what was the words? Oh, hang on, I was going to tell you other words. Oh, I've been researching okra, there's, there's a funny word actually, in the okra thing. I'm actually, being, I'm going to do an okra um, blog as well. I'm halfway uh -huh. through it. A blog on okra. Specifically about okra. You heard I find it, it here very, first. <laughs> I find it very fascinating. Did you know I've got some? I told you this, but don't give away. Uh, I've got something in common with Margaret Thatcher. I just thought I'd tell you so. It's, it's in my blog, but that's the only thing I would give away from my blog today. Is, yes, we, ha we do have something in common. We do. Um, mm. now both you, lived and the in thing a house. is, the blog's not going to go up till probably about Wednesday because Mr. Chowdhury does pretend to work. So Hang he's, on, he's no, gonna... the connection is you both lived in a house that was number 10. Uh, did we live in number 10? I don't know, I just no, made that up. Yeah, yeah, no, we didn't live in number 10. No, it wasn't that. All right. You've got cats. I don't know if she has a cat, but I think Diamond Street's got a cat, but I don't think she personally has got a cat. Or oh, did have a cash inside. You wrote a letter to her, I'm sure. Salma I did. Said. I did. Salma I did. said, you wrote a letter. I remember it was a school kid. You're both Tories. Uh, no, that's not. <laughs> but that's not the actual answer, what the thing I've got in common with Margaret Thatcher. I'll have you know. Uh, Shyster might know. Shyster, you should know. You both beat up your husbands. Yeah, well, she probably does beat up her husband, doesn't she? Oh, no, don't. She's dead. I can't talk about ill of the dead. Don't talk about ill of the dead. Um, <laughs> no, she doesn't. Um, no, the point is. So anyway, both of us, should we give it away? Or should we let them read the blog? Read the blog. Do you think so? Yeah. How many people did actually read the Kitchery blog? I'm going to put the, I'm actually going to put the method up. I, I have done I the have. method. The method is already on there. Did you put it up? Okay, I, I sent it to you. So we're going to post that up. Is everyone crumbling away? Wednesdays, Wednesdays, you're off next, aren't you? So we might get the blog up next Wednesday. On Wednesday, she'll see you not next Wednesday. Shiza says, yes I do, but I'm keeping quiet. Actually, she probably will know actually what it, what it is. David, I think it's David read your it. blog. Good man, good blog. man. See, it's interesting, isn't it? It's pretty fun. Uh, what's that got to do with okra? That's gone. No, okra one hasn't gone up here. So he's talking about the kid tree one. He's read the kid tree oh. blog. 
Oh, what? I think so. But because what I might do is because don't forget the cook alongs are not going to run on forever. We'll probably do another three to four maybe because it just it's only during the lockdown and obviously once the take out the issue on the takeout by the way everybody is there's no water yet fitted literally we're just waiting for united utilities or whatever united utilities david said when is the book coming the book is going to come when i've properly launched my frozen food and when i've got the takeout running to be honest i think i've got 90 percent of it written really to be honest because i'm like i've got quite a lot of recipes written down so I just need to write a bit more about each one, why I've done each one and stuff like that. Um, give me give me six months. Just give me a little bit of time. Give me when we work on it. Got to get it right. Right. So you're crumbling right, away. Right, it's there. Okay. Bones is distracting right, herself from the I've actual got, cooking. Yes, curry. And it's going down. Okay, let's lower the heat. Okay, let's add the garlic. Add the garlic. Add the garlic. Now, do you, do you prefer that burnt taste? Yeah, do you know what? It gives it more, it's like, more flavour, more depth. Without going totally black, you've got to have them nice and brown and caramelised. Caramelised is the other. There, there's a good word, caramelised. Like that one. Okay. It's definitely caramelised. Yeah. But the sticky bits at the bottom are good for the curry, you know this. I keep telling you this, you have to learn this. Right, in goes your tomatoes, 10, 400 grams. One tin of tomatoes. Okay. Amira says the blog was great. Thank you, Amira. But now you'll understand the okra thing as well soon. We're going to get that. And I might do a samosa blog as well soon because we've done the samosa cook along last year. So what I might do is pull that back out and write a blog about samosas. I think that's going to be quite an interesting one. Let me know how I feel about samosas. So. Right, so that's gone in. Let that cook. Okay. Now you could have had the, the, the spices the other way around if you want to, just add a little bit of extra water. And I'm going to put the lid on it and just give it a few minutes to cook down. Okay. How do you know how much water to add? You don't, you're just making a sauce because you want the onions to cook. That's what you want to do. So just a little bit, you don't need a lot of this because you're not trying to make it too soggy. I want to bring the heat back up to like a medium heat, so that's on. Oh, sugar. Right, that's on high. So bring it to boil and then I'm going to just drop it a little bit. So like a medium heat. Let's put the panel lid on. Let it cook. Okay. Hey, so since you uh, add loaf, a samosa blog. Yeah, I think I'm going to do a samosa blog next. I think that'd be quite an interesting one. Blog. Right. Okay. So sugar. There's 50 grams of sugar. Oh my God. You know what? The funniest was this morning. I thought I had no more sugar left because we used it in the marshmallows last night, and I found some. If you're lucky tonight. We used it all. So I knew let's go to the shops this morning. Cozy, we, we uh, me and the boys have a little pool every day on uh, <laughs> town what? beach, and everyone writes down how many times you will be in the shop. shop. <laughs> I knew you were going to yeah. say that. <laughs> I What's your record? Uh, four, I reckon. No, <laughs> you've done more than that. Right, I'm gonna. This is the 180 mils of milk. Oh. I'm just putting it in the David, microwave for seconds. <laughs> David's actually going back to the cooking part, so this is important. What's the difference when cooking with fresh or tin tomato? You can cook with fresh, you can use six to eight tomatoes. My mum did both. I just think in this recipe, in a lot of chicken based recipes, it gives you a thicker sauce. Okay, that's the only difference. There's a difference in the sauce itself. There's a lot more water yeah. in the fresh tomato. So, and it gives you, you will see the difference, and also the chicken one's a little bit paler than with the fresh tomatoes. There is a difference in the colour and also the thickness of it and stuff like that. Um, I'll use fresh tomatoes on uh, some like some like or aloo gobi sometimes or mixed veg curries more so than the chicken ones. I prefer a little bit of sauce in my chicken in the meat dishes and chicken dishes, so there is okay. a difference. Okay, so okay, right. So I've boiled that in for thirty seconds. What is that? One hundred and eighty mils of milk. So, warmed up. Yeah, and this is my last dodgy lemon. I couldn't bother going to shop this morning. Why do you so, need warm milk? Because you warm it up. It's like you're making your own buttermilk basically. That's what you do. Right, okay, so I need to grate the rind of that into there. Get some lemon, it's supposed to be a lemon and blueberry one. I think we chose a lemon and blueberry because my nieces don't like sultanas, that's the only reason why I love fruit, fruit scones. But this young generation don't like their dry fruit, do they? The peas in the back sides. So they're making me do a blueberry one. Okay, so got some of that rind in there. 
Okay, you're not supposed to go right through the paper, it's more bitter. Okay, right, then cut this in half. Okay, so we're still using the rest of the lemon. Yeah, and squeeze that into the milk. So you're making like a buttermilk, really, aren't you, really? Salma says because it's what she wanted. Yeah, oh yeah, it's because Salma wants to do. Yeah, you just remind yourself. Right, lemon juice lemon in juice the milk. Lemon juice in there, okay? Very strong lemon Always smell. Always keep an eye on your curry though. If you've got, especially if you've got the lid off and you're not used to it. Right, we've got all that water. Okay, no, it's fine. It's cooking. Okay. Just keep an eye. I'm going to actually increase the heat because we want to cook a little bit quicker. Let's increase the heat a little bit more. Sizzling away. Yeah. Right, so, right, you've got your milk there. Right, let's get all these little bits out. This is for the egg wash, there's an egg in there, that's for the scones itself. There's a safety one there, we'll come back and save you after, let's focus on the sweet. Now blueberries, once a blueberries, the reason why I've got the flake flour here, it's all of this through the fruit gum flour is, always try to coat your dry fruit with a couple of tablespoons because it stops it sinking, that's the theory of it. Okay. So just coat them. Coat them with about a tablespoon of flour. Okay, right. So put it all together. Actually, you know, I could have just put it into there. I think the way lady did, what she did was originally put the milk in first. That's the reason why I've done it the other way around, actually. Well, I'm going to just bunk it all in. Let's go for it. Okay. Let's have a look. Now, all the thing about scones is work light fingered. Do you need it? Do not do that. Okay. Because it will just be like all very dense scones. Okay. Just try to bring it together, but without overdoing it. So you kind of fold folding it? Folding it, sort of, more or less. Okay. And it is quite a wet mix. So it's just fine. Okay. So what I'm going to do is literally tip it out like that. I actually prefer working with scone mix on the surface. Okay. It's a bit dry. It's not dry. It's actually a very wet mix, actually. Okay. I can feel it's dead soft. This mix is quite soft. So bring it slowly together. You want a bit more milk, use a bit more milk, but you don't really need to ignore him. It will come together. That's quite normal, isn't it? We just ignore each other. Quite, quite usual. Ignore him. Just ignore him. Okay, put it all together. It's coming together nicely. So what shall I do? Battenberg or meringue nest? Although I'm kind of like... <clears throat> Raymond Blanc did it before me, so I wasn't happy about it. That's too late then. Mm -hmm. Can't believe, I've been saying it for weeks I want to do meringue nest and the man beat me to it. Okay, right, don't, I said not kneading, okay, it's really important no to do a little bit of this. No smacking. <laughs> no more smacking. <laughs> right, I really love the flat because you don't want to. David it. Cole says Battenberg. I, I, I want to go with Batman. Because the boys like that as well. Ooh. Is no, it, Mr. Chadwick likes that. Is your curry still alright? Probably. Because you've got to keep your eye on that as yeah. well. Right, it's not going to make a lot of scones, okay? Because normally I would double the mix, but because I'm doing savoury scones, I didn't double the mix. It's quite a thick lump there. Yes, is that how you want it? it? Yes. I do want that. Jaws start to stick ever so slightly, so keep one eye. So you want it to be sticky? Yeah. Sticky. Just. Okay, right, we're going to go back. I've got some... Let's try to balance it all on this side. Okay, I'm going to move this slot. Oh, there's not enough room. There will be. Let's move all that across. This is why Fozzie wants a bigger kitchen, I mean, because she kitchen. says it's there's not, not enough off. room. It's just not big enough, it really is Okay, right, so... Scones always remind me, if those who know me will know me, we do it for eat breakfast, which is like Christmas equivalent. And I make little mini scones, so low make loads, but we're just going to make some big ones today. I'm just going to use that flour. Don't twist it, whatever you do. Top tip, top tip. It will turn over. No twisting. So you can either do crinkly or partially, you can do that way. What should you do? You do crinkly. Crinkly. And you yeah, too predictable. Do it. Down. Much like that. Mira so no uh, says Battenberg as well. That's it. It's, it's, it's been decided. Bizarre. Bizarre. Yeah, this is... Okay, right, there you go. Look at that. Okay, there you go. Right. Same again. 
Why are you dipping it in flour? Because I don't want that. That's quite a sticky mix. I keep saying it's quite soft. You don't want it to stick to the inside of that. So all you've got to do, so I'm not twisting it around. I'm just pushing it all right. so that, okay, it comes off. There you go. Okay. How many do you think you can get out of this? Apparently the recipe says eight. Let's see how we go. I get us six to eight. Depends how there might be thick a fight in them. our family because my sisters and brothers. Depends how fighting. thick you want them. Yeah, you can make the small ones, as I said. Uh, no, I mean that you've, it's a thick lump of. It's supposed to be. Seb's quite obsessed with the thick, but they're supposed to be thick. Okay. And they might topple over and make funny shapes, but that's life. I'm not going to sit there and worry about it too much. You know, nobody's perfect. They're not all Delia Smiths, I promise you. Oh, Kim says your scones make eat breakfast. Don't they, Kim? Don't, Kim comes over for eat breakfast, or used to, before this COVID thing. Our, our, our house is right opposite the mosque, so we've got a few people that will want it in quite happily. And we have donuts, we have cinnamon rolls, we have scones, we have samosas. This is breakfast at 8 o'clock in the morning. Samosas are out, the chart is out, everything's out, ready for breakfast. Okay, how many are we going to Okay, maybe a couple more. Oh, she like. Let me just stay in the pan. I can hear it. I can hear it doing its thing. What did you hear? I can hear it sizzling. Same. Steady. Steady. Now you see, it's, it's a talking pan. There you go. Right, let's go back. Yeah. And again, don't need it. Just bring it together. David's coming over to eat breakfast. Okay, David, we'll give you the address if you live in Liverpool. Only if you live in Liverpool, you can only come. Actually, you live in Manchester. So I'm not sure about that. We'll send that. you some. We can send you some. Oh, do the small one and the piddly. Oh, no, no, no. We'll get rid of that. We'll do that on the big one. Too small. We're not going to get much of that, are we? Ah, uh, the, uh, the debate, though, is do you say scone or do scone. you say scone? Not that posh. I told you it's scone. How do you say chicken in Liverpool? Chicken. Chicken. Ask, ask our Bilal, Bilal when we came back from Spain. That was the first thing we taught my kids how to say chicken. It really was, wasn't it? It's quite funny actually. Oh, how many we got out of that one? Well, quite a bit actually. So maybe I made them too thin. We'll see. She said eight. The recipe said eight. You can, you can get one more. Do you reckon? You? Oh, you can get one more and a bit. Okay. Right. So let's put that in. Never ever waste a scone. That's mine. Never waste a You've bit. Got more than ten. Okay. Right. So it will live. Right, so. Salma says scone. Scone. Put the yolk on there. I say scone. Okay. Right, egg wash over the egg top. Egg wash over the top. Can you, you can use any fruit really, can't you? Yeah, to a degree. Because like some fruits can be quite wet as well, so you've got to be a little bit careful as Mango. well. Mango. Do you know, right, I've got, a, I've got a gripe. I've got a gripe, another gripe. Mango. So this lady, she's not on here, right? So she asked for a cake with pineapples in it, right? Then she said to me, could you not make it? Could you not make the sponge wet? I don't make a wet sponge, never have. And I said, just omit the pineapples, we'll be fine. We don't need pineapples. Fruit will make it wet. This is the whole point of this debate. This silly woman. She asked, and then she said, oh, maybe a few pineapples. Okay, no problem, oven. So 200 degrees, around about 20 minutes. Let's give it 15, 20 minutes. Okay, let's go in. Let's do that one. Right, job one done. Okay, we'll come back to that in a second. Right, anyway. People do ask for weird things. It's very sticky now. Which is nice. Okay, now we can add. So it's just starting to come together at the bottom where you've got all those nice little juicy bits. Right. I know there's a couple of other cook-alongs. Does anybody else get involved in any of the other cook-alongs that are around? Is there, is there there's one? There's a couple. I'm sure there's one or two other ones that are going on as well, sort of thing, so. Yeah. Sure, for the public. Or right. the, the Scouse chef. No, 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 there was a, there's Talks of Unity did a, but obviously different foods as well. And I was thinking I might move from curries, I might do a curry pasta chicken bake, which is actually really nice, so we might do that next time. Curry pasta um, chicken bake. And also, or, I know, it's all my dish yesterday, probably, because we haven't eaten this long, really, and I feel sorry to be veggies. Um, I was going to do... Vegetarian quiche? 
Oh, this is what I'm doing next cheese. week. I know what I want to do is um, tandoori chicken, but doing it with the charcoal on the stove. So we're going to do that one. So it's going to be a little bit of an interesting one. So we're going to do that. But what I might need to do is what was that you just shoved in? Salt, 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 don't salt. Forget, don't forget you're actually doing some cooking. Salt. One, one tablespoon. tablespoon. We can season more afterwards. Always we'll check the seasoning before we take it. I mean, I don't really remember this morning's debate. It wasn't seasoned till now. So anyway, so check right, this the is the spices season. that are going in now. So, so anyway, we're doing chicken. Some oh, well, let me get the spices in. He's going to turn me off. Okay, so I'm going to put that much chili powder in. Well, because we're going to put green chili in as well, haven't we? And you don't like it too spicy. But my mum's eating. My mum has claimed this. I'm going to put a tiny bit more. I like. So what was that? Chili powder. All right, chili powder. About a quarter. A quarter of a tablespoon. You can put more. You can put less. Do what you want. Uh, David, yeah, tandoori is a good idea. So I'm going to do that, but I might do the marinade on the Saturday. So we've got a full thing. Okay, right, so the next the spice that Fozzie's exactly. throwing in is... I'm going to do about one and a bit. Turmeric. Turmeric. One tablespoon and a, a little bit. Curry powder, again, some people use curry powder, some people don't. It's fine. Do what you need to do. You know, I like to flavor. I think I've got a tablespoon of that in. Tablespoon of curry powder. Okay, so, the reason why I forgot to, or I didn't use the ground cumin and ground coriander last time is because they're in different tubs. I've got millions of different spice tubs and it's, a, it's just remembering to get it out which we didn't do last time so this is my ground coriander so I'm going to put and uh, he says uh, steak my son says do you have any recipes with beef not really I mean well, beef stew beef stew or the little version so it's not really it's not really an Asian thing is it? it's just going to be stir there's three main things and you stir fry griddle or a stew. What's going in there? Um, sorry, this is the cumin, ground cumin. Again. Tablespoon of ground cumin. Yes, yeah, the extra flavours. It's all extra flavours, all layers of depth of spices. Okay. Fosia's never done a curried beef wellington. No, it's not, it's, that's not going to happen really, is well, it? Curried beef wellington? You won't have, you, he doesn't even like beef by the way, Mr. Charlie Wick. He's a bit fussy, he's a bit sort of limited on his taste. No, I'm not, I'm not a fan <laughs> no, of steak. You know. I don't like he's it. not a fan of okra by the way, but he's going to eat it today. I'm going to make him eat some today. Okay. Right, I'm going to add a little bit more water. Actually, stir it a bit more. The more you're stirring, what you're doing is you're breaking down the onions and you're breaking it down. But, that's fine. And you're taking all these little bits, giving it more flavour to the pan. Yeah, so I'm probably going to do about another three or four more because obviously COVID, and hopefully well, we're not going to be in lockdown for the whole next six months, I don't think so. Yeah, we are. <laughs> not. So, you know, and all, obviously we're just waiting for the water supply to open with the takeout. So once that happens, you know, this will cease really, I think. So we're going to, that's where I want to do more blogs so you can pick up the old recipes and sort of see where they are. With the it, tandoori know. will be good. I'm doing the tandoori one next week. I have that in my head. Okay, so let that cook for a few minutes and we can add the chicken to it. It's actually quite straightforward. This is a base sauce for a lot of curries. A lot of you've gathered, right? It is a base sauce for a lot of curries. Lamb is cooked slightly. Well, I cook lamb differently. Uh, mince is cooked differently. You know, some curries are cooked differently, but this is a base for a lot of curries. Okay, sort of thing. Not dolls, but curries for chicken. Okay, and as I said, if you didn't want to do chicken, you could just do all bindi. Bindi doesn't really mix with other veg. You don't yeah. tend to do bindi and potato. You don't tend to That's do that. That's why we don't use it that often. You don't know. It's a, it's a very distinct flavour. Yeah. But when we were kids, my mum used to bring like kilo bags of it and we'd sit there chopping it. And what you have to do with bindi, I said, I'm not giving away my blog. You top and tail them. But there's this thing, it's called, ah, that's what the word is, micropods. See those little seeds inside? That's your slime ball. That's your slime yeah, thing. That, that's why I So as soon as that them. gets wet, it, it releases a lot of slime. So I wash these first, pass them dry with a lot of kitchen roll, then I cut them up, right? I think David's using frozen, and that's the reason why I said don't, um, don't whatever you do, um, defrost them because it'll go wet and soggy. That's so why I'm never a fan of it. Okay, so I think so. I just remembered my wok is in the onions. Gonna get my wok. I put that out the way. Because we're going to fry, we are going to lightly fry the bindi. So do you have a frying pan of some sort or another pan with oil in it um, at the back? Because we will be frying those to get rid of some of that slime before it goes into there. 
Okay, that's another trick. So I'll go and get that ready while this. Just keep an eye on that sec. Slime's not a good word to use when you're cooking, any, by the way. I know it is, but the slimy very That's why I've never been a big fan of it. Of course, she's not that prepared today for getting everything. Now she's going to be hunting the wok. That's not a wok. It's a frying deep pan type wok. Let's get a kitchen roll. Salma says, stir the pan. I'm stirring. Zem's in charge of stirring for two minutes, Al. Okay, so, right, the other thing, sometimes obviously you're going to get the fried some chips or David asked me, do I not cook? I, I used to, but Fozia doesn't let me have access to the kitchen anymore. They'd have a meltdown, wouldn't they? I'm not allowed in here no. unless I'm eating. Yeah. I think I actually literally, I mean, ask my friends. My friends will come and they come and stand by the cooker and I shoo them away. It's like, go away, sit down at the dining table. And they know, they all know that they're not allowed to stand next to me when I'm cooking because I just, I like my space when I'm cooking. You're very privileged there, Mr. Chandler, you know that. Well, so what I'm just doing is just using a little tea thing. This is especially for my oil. You just get rid of all the bits of the bottom because obviously you're not going to sit there and use oil once. I'm going to use it a couple of times. Okay, so now I'm going to add the chicken to this. Okay, the spice has been cut through. So I'm going to add the chicken. Okay. Well, then I managed to slaughter it to bits. Okay. Salma says, uh, tell Fozia you're the new chef. <laughs> Sack Fozia. <laughs> right, so put your, you can use chicken breast if you want to, honestly. You know, I'm not going to sit there and judge you for that or whatever. Um, I am, really good. Okay, so, but really the flavour is in the main chicken itself. And this is how we were born. My mum always, I've never known my mum to cook with chicken breast. My mum so, always cook with this. Bones and all. Same as your mum as well. I'm sure your mum's exactly the same when you were younger. What? Cook with the main chicken. You always had chicken on the bone. I don't think you had chicken, kilos of chicken breast. No, time. that's right, yeah. We yeah. just, that's the standard way. Yeah. Everyone's got too fussy now. Got, yeah. And that's literally it. And eat chicken breast. Okay. To get out. Right. While that is starting to brown, okay, we're going to start cooking. Put the oil on. It's enough oil there. I want too much oil. Alright, so you've coat, you want yeah. to coat everything in there, don't you? Yeah. Coat the meat. I'm just going to put that, because you know when you put a lid on, it just cooks it quicker. Just put that on there a second. Get this out of the way. Okay, so I'm going to open the back door again because they're frying. Okay, the heat's on again. Yeah, we never had that chicken breast thing. It was always. I do, do something. So let's increase the heat on that. I'm going to pop my head. I would always get the scones. Let me just have a quick sneak. Oh, they are brownie already. So we're going to turn the tray around in 10 minutes. Now it's interesting because some recipes will say 10 minutes, but I think they're undercooked. Ah, uh, these are. I'm going to put them back in though because to me they will be underdone inside. They definitely Don't have forget increased. your oven varies. Like I've got brown on that side and light on that side, so I'm turning them around. Okay. Let's have a look at that. So I'm high gas, okay, and it's just a dry mix there. Coat it all. Yeah. Well, you could use turkey. Oh, we had turkey the other day. <laughs> uh, what's uh, oh Samra Lord. says? What's in the scones? Blueberry. Blueberry and a bit of lemon rind. Is that um, all, Sal? It's not moaning. You get what you get. Samra, no Samra. Oh, Samra. Sorry, I, Samra. I asked Lily, can you use any of the fruit? Before Samra, you I would went say off rasp on a I've seen raspberry scones. What about but just be careful which fruit as well, because some of them will leak and they what get wet. What about mango? Chunks of mango. No, I can't see. That's me. Getting Dried wet. mango. Maybe. They're not chunks of mango. Anything, any dry fruit, basically. I'm saying raspberry. Yeah, I've seen. I have seen recipes for raspberry scones. So you're saying any dry fruit? Well, any dry fruit would work anyway. So well, not oh. any within reason. Yeah, like your sultanas and stuff like that. Okay. Heat, let that heat up. Come on, that gas is slightly lower in heat. It's given the time yeah, for that to see. Suppose you bought some uh, turkey. <laughs> it was for pizza. You were a bit traumatised for that one. Yeah. <laughs> turkey bacon. Oh. Stop it. <laughs> oh. I'll tell you. 
I what I wanted was turkey like that to be cooked. Oh my God, do you remember that time we were in Spain and I said to them, we had Moroccan butchers there, and I said to the guy, you had to order your turkey like before a week before, and I said to him, I said, oh, we're going to do turkey this year, let's do a turkey, you know, and we'll invite some of our local friends, and we always do a spice version, obviously, for roast dinner. So I went into the shop, gave him a nod to say I'm here for my turkey, which I'd pre-ordered, the next minute, I literally must have turned around for 10 seconds and he butchered it into four pieces already. Was yeah, like, he was just, pretty quick. He, he literally, I hadn't time to turn around to even say a word. I hadn't even realised he'd done it. I think I was looking at the shelf to put something else. And I looked and I said, but I wanted that hole. And his face dropped. He didn't know what to do. He ordered it in especially. So we kind of like had like a turkey leg, didn't we? Something like that when you really did. I was like, David says, okay. did, you, did you guys live in Spain? Yeah, uh, about eight years. Zeb worked over there in Gibraltar. So yeah. you lounged around in the sun. I didn't. I did a lot of cooking, which is where this has all started from. We did a lot of cooking. We did a lot of sell, selling and cooking over there as well. We should say we yeah. We actually had a, a Facebook group there as well. We did, we did all that work. You can sit on my house. You know that. Right. So the chicken is starting to seal. So hopefully let's start get some of this. So even if you've got frozen one, put it straight into a hot frying pan, obviously. Right, so we're frying the let's, let's get this. Still okra. Hot enough. Come on, get up. These are pretty dry, so they've been cut only an hour ago. And they fry that What's quite create, well. Why is it getting slimy when you add water to it? What is that? It's a mucus reaction. Yeah, it is. A runny nose reaction. <laughs> I'm keeping an eye on it. Should you be eating a vegetable that has a runny nose reaction? I don't uh -huh. think it's a good idea. Uh -huh. I'll tell Omar and have it to go around to yours then. Stop it. What, for scones? Right. Scones. Here we go. So you're frying it to so stop that reaction. I'm going to do it in batches and just put it, you can either put it onto a towel and drain off the oil or put it straight into there, whatever you want to do. But only lightly fry it, not, it's just to seal it really. Okay. It's, uh, it's fizzing away now. Right. Which is a little bit kind of like unconventional, and I didn't write it on the recipes. I'm going to add a couple of tomatoes, okay? Because my theory is once I read up on the thin DIY, it's when you add water, of course, it's a problem. Looks a little slimy. Now, what I'm doing with tomato by adding extra tomato is creating an extra sauce, but hopefully not too much water. So, like a curry, basically. So, like a it's like a bona, but like a thick version because the whole with bindi curry you can't have a lot of water inside it really will be a slimy thing so just got a couple of tomatoes here if you've got some tomato if you don't have to put this in by the way but i'm going to add this in for the bindi in and then put the lid on and then that will create a sauce as well and i don't really want to add too much water to this it's very dry yeah and this will create Some sauce. So, then I get that batch of bindi into there. Right, so you just want to do, you're not frying, frying them with the fully cooked, the cooking will go in here. You're just sealing them. That's all you're doing. And if you bit bother about the grease, pour it off, as in put it into a tea towel first if you want to. Because some people would do, fry the bindi first in the first oil and then add some more oil and then in the same pan. But I want to get the curry started, to be honest, which is why I put it this way around. There you go, niece. Look. This was a so. this was a staple when we were children. Yes, I always remember growing up in the bindi in that. Mum used to make it all the time, <laughs> didn't she, niece? Right. I'm going to throw the tomato in, and the tomato is going to give you some extra sauce as well. So, and the, the, way, the way to do that. I'll have a little bit of water in a minute, don't get me wrong, I'm not going to not add some no water. But, so, because it'll burn a lot, it will burn. So I'm going to add a little bit now at the bottom. Just get a little bit of water, but right at the bottom now. That's it, I'm not going to add much more than that for now. But Samra, uh, Salma says you can add any veg at this time. Yeah, you yeah. can add cotton. Somebody did ask me that, so I think it was Lisa. So if you're adding, she said she'd go to Morrison's and do some shop. If you're adding your veg now, you can add your cauliflower, half a cauliflower if you wanted to. Um, anything with potato, I need to put potatoes in if you want at this point. Okay. Let's add 
this TV. Uh, where the species of plant, the orca, where did it come from? You were doing some research. I was doing you? some research on that. It's actually a very, very beautiful plant. No, I can't give you that with it. <laughs> You're trying to give away my blog here. Oh, no, it's in my blog. It's all in my blog. I've been doing a bit of research on the well, video. I've actually found it quite fascinating, actually. When you told me, I thought I didn't. I would never work yeah. that out. Oh, should we give that one away? Well, where does it come from? Should we, should we give that one? Okay, we'll give that one away. You can't, you can't have the Margaret Thatcher one yet, though. Oh. Okay, so the Bindi originally, years ago, was discovered by the Egyptians. It was by the River Nile. So, and how it went to India, and how it, so it's, so it's gone by the slave trade to South, to America. So it's a very Southern American dish as well. They use, they make with gumbo. Gumbo is the Portuguese word, word for Bindi. Doing a lot of work Hang on, this. David said, do I still fry the frozen okra or yes. put it straight in? Fry it. Fry it first. Like when you do like chips and stuff like that, fry it first, put it in, because you just don't want it to release all the slime, because it will cook and it will release the slime. Uh, Lisa says, I couldn't get, uh, I couldn't get any, so I've used broccoli. Any bench? Okay, that's work. fine. I've, I've not done a broccoli version, but okay, give us a, give, that's fine. I'm, well, I'm not really fussed on broccoli, that's probably the reason why, actually. I like broccoli. I know you do. Right, I'm going to check my scones now. They're nice and brown. Okay, so it's 15 minutes on this one. Let me just get this right. I haven't got other ones. I've never ever used anything this right. Okay, so I'll put it on this one. Check your scones. Right, give, I'm not going to cut them open yet. Give them about 10 minutes to cool, okay? Well, they look, uh, they look twice as good. big. Twice as big as they were. Okay, they look pretty good as well. Try to do it back. Okay. So I've added the tomatoes in, and what I'm going to do is when that last bit of pindi goes in, I'm going to put the lid on, and the, the tomatoes will break down, and also, so you've got a little bit of water inside there. Lisa, you can add a bit of extra water if you want to, because you've got broccoli, and um, add potatoes. Broccoli's not really a common one that's used in curries, I, I don't think, I haven't come across that one. Um, but cauliflower, potato, peas, anything else, add some, but definitely let us know how that turns out. Okay, so that's all of my bindi cooked in full, semi-fried, not even fully fried. But add, add your other veg that you're adding in now, at this point. Okay. My mum has claimed her first thing to this. She said, bring it all over to me. I want to eat this. And I was like, okay, it's fine. To be honest, I should have got a bit more bindi, actually. I think I probably could have done with a bit more. David, if you've got extra bindi, throw a little bit extra in. We could have done a bit more bindi, actually. But that's fine. Okay, so what I'm going to do is actually first we'll leave it on high for a few minutes because it will release just a couple of minutes. It will break down the tomato quite well. That's the idea of that. All right, that's okay. cooking away. Just a couple of minutes, literally, okay? So your first batch of scones. So we don't put scone one. So what is it now that you're doing? Scone two. This is the uh, sequel. This is the one that you can like pick at. It's so good. This is the sequel. Yeah. To the first movie, okay. Scone. So I've used the basic same principle. So you've got the same amount of flour, 350 grams. 350. We're going to put a pinch of salt in. Okay. Right. I could probably do with a pinch of black pepper actually. Let me find black pepper if you wanted to. You spilt it all? No, I haven't spilled it all. See, this is the, this is the black pepper that came out with those plastic tubs that never open. I'm going to put a little bit of that in. Okay. Right, so we've got I some. I think I know why it broke. Do you mm -hmm. usually have it near the your heater, no, your cooker? No, it's not. It's not. It's over that side. It's on the freezer. I've seen it there, so the heat yeah. compromised the plastic. Right. So we've got some mustard powder. So mustard powder which goes well with cheese. Mustard. So throw some mustard powder in. Let's give it a little bit extra. Okay. Right, and then throw some paprika in it. You can have smoked paprika. Salma said that it definitely needs double the amount of pindi. I know it needs extra pindi, doesn't it, really? I think it's just said that to me the other day. I was like, oh, it'll be enough. It's fine. We'll live. What's that? What's that you bought? Paprika. So we've just some right. paprika. Curry scone. Curry powder. Okay, so. She, let's has, just say says she has to go. She's going to watch later. She's got her students. I know she has got students. So what we're going to do is we're going to add some bits to it. So we said cheese. I found just Mr. Chowdhury's favourite cheese. Apple wood. Apple wood smoked. We're going to have some smoked cheese. I'm going to add some of that. Let me just check the pan because don't forget it's on my heat. Okay. 
That's quite dry now. Okay, that's fine, but I'm going to still leave it dry. I'm just going to put a low simmer. What I'm going to do, take it all off the bottom. Right, I'm going to take my gas now to like a very low heat and let it cook for 20 25 minutes, let the chicken cook down. Okay, so it's quite a low heat there now. Quite a nice sauce to that. Actually, look, it has actually got a nice little sauce as well. Tomatoes have done that as well. Okay, so just let it cook itself. Okay, so while that's cooking, we can get some cheese. Okay, let's open this up. I've got a box grater somewhere. So using so, cheddar? I'm going to use mature cheddar of some sort. I can get into the thing. I really can't get into this thing. Oh, what have you done? I'll put it into a bag. I'll put it into a plastic bag oh. afterwards. Okay, right. So how many grams is that? Oh, this is where I need my reading glasses. Okay, my hands on it. 300. So we'll probably use about 100. I'm going to use some on top as well. So we're going to... I've got a box grater from Ikea, which has one of those things in it. So wait, I'm just grating straight here. 100 grams of some kind of cheese. cheddar, what he's gone for? Just use whatever cheese you've got, you know what, it's just the stronger the better. She's gone for a flavor. vintage. Yeah. The nation's favourite. Oh, do you know what, I didn't get out of some jalapenos, we've got some sure we've got some jalapenos in the fridge, I'm going to put some jalapenos in this. I think it'll go quite nice, I like a bit, a bit of spice, a bit of kick. You could use a Mexican cheese then next time. Yeah, I didn't see it. Oh, didn't that's a that's a good one. It's already got chilies yeah. and peppers in it. One hundred grams of cheese. Right, it's nice and cheesy. And then you want this apple wood. Yeah, I'm actually leaving that last little bit to go on top of it. That'll be fine. Okay, you do need more than that. It's a lot of cheese. Too much. No, not too much. It's the right amount. So I said I'll put that away and sort that out. Right, I'll do it again. It's better have I. Do you know these are you're never supposed to open these, are you really? You have got it in one. Again, just because you're like, I'm actually gonna put this in as chunks. It doesn't have to be great, so don't forget. So we're gonna have to do little chunks of this, I think. Leave some for the boys. Um, leave some for you to pick out in the middle of the night. He comes down about one o'clock in the morning just to start eating sandwiches. This is what he wants. He's like, leave me have it all. This is very strong smell. You can no, really smell it. No, the boys like cheese blocks. They won't eat this one. They like red Leicester. There we go. Okay, so that's enough cheese. Okay. And then we're going to do some red pepper. Okay, some red pepper. And I'm going to... Um, I haven't... Do you know what? I'm sure I've got red on here, but I haven't, can't see it to hand. So we've got a red pepper. Why are you doing that? Stop it. Get rid of the piff. He looks back and watches a video and he just giggles. It's quite funny actually. He'll watch a video and he'll start laughing at it. Right, okay, so there's cheese for the on top. Right, I'm gonna see if we've got jalapenos or not. Let's see. I'm sure I have. I'm to find some. Yes, we have. She's got jalapenos. Oh, we've got some double cream. I'm gonna watch some double cream. I didn't even know I had that. Right, so. doing a blog on. Roll Dahl next week. <laughs> you should. Are you still going on about that? That's where you start. You were starting to laugh, weren't you? The other day, you were just laughing to yourself. Right, jalapenos are being sliced. And diced. Honestly, you can add whatever you want to. You can literally just add onions and anything, really, to a savoury one. Try to sprinkle it out a bit. Probably need no more, it's just like want some more jalapenos, but let's go with that. Okay, so, and again, I haven't got any more lemon, so normally you would probably put a little bit of this and put some milk in that, so, so I'm just going to add the milk this time. So it's 180 ml of milk, so I'm just going to do it slowly because you've got cheese in there, so that's probably going to be, it's going to be enough to bring it together as well. So what, what, what is it you're going to do there? I'm just going to bring it together like I did last time. Fold it together then. Yeah, but I'm going to slow, not add all the milk because it's 
cheese in it so cheese will also it's like a thicker isn't it sort of thing so We'll end up using most of that to be honest. Let's have a look. Uh, Sheila, Rashida's said hello. Hi, Sheila. Sheila's really got out of bed, by the way, just now. Oh, I'm joking, Sheila. Does she work nights? She, 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 yeah, she has a, a very difficult sleep pattern and works weird shifts and stuff like you. Yeah. Did you add butter? Shit. No, I didn't. Did you hear that, everyone? Let me add some butter. <laughs> 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 oh, so well spotted, Salma, the deliberate mistake. <laughs> I always do something like this, don't Look, I? She had it Put ready. cheese in it, haven't we? So let's just, she let's had it just ready. grate it in. Grate it in. Grate it in. Cheese is good. Okay. What? Well, yeah, you can grate cheese in. What? That was the other method of adding cheese, by the way. No, that's for, you're supposed to be adding the butter. No, grated butter, sorry. I'm grating the butter in. I think she was having a meltdown. She thought she was actually just grating cheese in there. It's actually. <laughs> and use less butter as well because oh. it's got cheese inside. Sam was laughing. Sam is <laughs> laughing at you. Do you remember the time? What was the other one that I missed out? <laughs> I did say we're only all human and we're not genius smiths. Remember that? I didn't say that at the beginning because there's always a reason. Sheila says she has just woken up. Uh, so is Fozzie, by the way. <laughs> No, I woke up at 6 o'clock this morning to eat my marshmallows. Let's get this right. <laughs> Fozzie's okay. brain has just woken up. That's well. true. That's true. Well, to be honest, I said I'm not going to add 100 grams. I'm going to add about 50 grams because it's got cheese inside it as well. So the cheese <laughs> will also cook through quite nicely. I was too excited about putting cheese in, then I forgot about the butter. I was just really excited about the cheese. It looks like butter. Yeah. No, that's the other way because it's supposed to be that cold where you can grate it in. All right, so you've grated the it, butter yeah. in there. Let's try to get about 50 grams, roughly. That should be about 100 left over. Okay, let's bring that together, shall we? Jeez. You <laughs> forgot to tell me. I don't think your sister's going to let you <laughs> let that down now. That's it. <laughs> ah, it's all good. Anyway, let's put that all in together. Fold it up. I've got, I've got to try to do it where I'm not over mixing it as well. It's a problem. You're going to get lumps of cheese and butter in this, aren't we, really? Let's try. Because what I don't want to do is... Yeah, we probably will. That's all right. Will it work? Yeah. See how we go. Somebody's going to have more butter in some, and some's not. Fine, that's the way it is. It's life. Let's, let's get it with that. Okay. Let's move all that out of the way. Let's move that out of the way. Let's tip it all out and try to bring it together. Maybe a bit drier because of the butter, but let's see how we go. Okay. I'm going to stir my pan because I can smell it. Always listen to your pan, listen to your nose. Take listen it. to your nose? Listen to your nose. How do you do that? Okay. okay so I'm, I'm listening a bit. to my nose. So I'm going to put that in <laughs> more down. Yeah, I could have done with a bit more candy, oh well. So it's down. It should be all right, well, why, why don't you add another vegetable? We haven't got no. That's fine. That's nice. My mum will like that as it is. So it's Salma says add a bit of milk. I, to this, I'll be yeah. a wait a minute. Let's see how we go. Not a curry. No. Add some milk to the dry mix. We shall see. Let me have a look because the butter will come out when I bring it all together. <sighs> well, this might be a bit of a disaster. Let's have a look. No, it's not coming together, is it? Doesn't want to. Sheila says, "What you're making, by the way." This a is... disastrous scone. A disastrous one. Okay, let's have a look. It's a deconstructed <laughs> scone. But chefs do that when they make mistakes, and they go, "What is that? What is that?" Uh, know, it's a deconstructed done. beef Wellington. What you've right, done I is. I am probably gonna need to eat it. This might be a bit more glutinous, oh. so I apologise to my family who have to eat this, or anybody who has to eat this. So, right, a dip, dot more water. No, milk. Cheers, right. Let's go with a dot more milk. Oh, how well. It's life. It's a scone. Paul is making a scone, but not in a traditional manner. <laughs> Back to front. 
But it shows you can be rescued. Well, hopefully it should be rescued. Okay. Okay, let's have a look. That wasn't a great deal of milk. No, only one little dot, just enough to bring it together. I'm not, I'm not going to flood it. There's no way. It's literally a couple of dots. Yeah, that's bringing it together nicely. Okay. Sorry, Sheila, they got their way. They got Sco and Sal got her way this week. We're doing the Battenberg. See, Sheila wants to watch the Battenberg cake. So we're doing that next week. I think the vote's out for that already. Okay, so I am needing this one a little bit, which I'm not happy about. But it's a little bit more firmer. Okay, right, let's get... <coughs> let's get all the bits together. Let's start rolling out. Let's see what we get. I told you to stick with Battenberg cake. Okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Is that Sheila? Yeah. <laughs> I can imagine. <laughs> okay, let's bring it together. See what we end up with. Oh, it's, it's cracking. It's fine. Cracks are cracks. What can you do? Right, so let's try to get a few scones out of this. Let's rescue the situation. Let's try. Okay. Where's your baking tray? It's here. Let's get this baking tray here. Right. Right, the next question is, with scones, is it jam first or is it cream first? Who's having that debate? We need to know. What? When you do a scone, a fruit scone, there's always a big argument as do you put the cream down first or do you put the jam down first? This is quite an important debate. Well, I just eat them. <laughs> Usually I know you do. How should you do? I should just go grab them, don't you? don't put anything on them. I don't think there's any debate there. You just No, you, just you do. It. There's a huge argument always. Jam, cream first. I like putting cream first, then jam on top. David said uh, jam, then cream. See, I put cream first. Jam then first jam. for Selma. Really? Nah, it's gonna be cream it's... and then you dollop the jam on top. Oh. Boring people. Boring people, did I say that loud enough? Nope, it's not gonna go. I think you're only gonna get eight out of this one. <laughs> what do you think? Oh god. What have we done to this poor thing? Okay. Or you maybe get, nine? How did you get more out of the other one? I don't know. Because you didn't put the Blue butter in the right <laughs> yeah, order. Yeah, because I put the butter in the right order. That's probably the butter wasn't in the thicker. right order. Okay. Let's see if we rescue this or not. Kim said that she'd put ham indefinitely. In what? <laughs> You're debating whether you're going to put jam or... <laughs> she went jam. It's a typo. I put ham in. Uh, turkey ham. Shut up. <laughs> Come on, some of it will crumble, it doesn't matter. See how we go. Right, so, what we are going to do is again the egg wash, the extra little lump. So there's a small one. Always. Always. Oh, God. So we had a bit of a disaster with the... Savory scones. Well, I think they're going to come out. Well, let's see. They've still got to cook and we've still got to eat them yet. So we haven't got that far in our lives. It'll be alright. Okay, right. I like his optimism. You like that. Right, so let's put those on. Right, sorted. Okay, they can go in. Oh, we've got the oven to go on. Oh. So again, no, it's just the heat. So it's still warm enough. Put those in. Right, let's go back to this pan. Oh, Add cheese that. on top. Oh, yeah! <laughs> you said that well. Look at that, they've gone in. Right, I'm not bothered now. I'm not bothered about them now! You can have cheese slices inside them. Whoever's having them. That's right. too late now. See now, there's a nice little sauce going on here. Which is nice. Look how they cost a bit tomato and a little bit of water. You don't need to add much more to it. So what I'm going to do is we can chat now for like 10 minutes because I can whisk. I'm going to try to physically hand whisk some cream. This is going to be quite funny actually. Come on. 
I've got to get the machine out. Right, has anybody got any burning questions? We should just do it all. Let's give it all. Let's just go for it. Let's see how long it takes to whip up cream. Probably take me like all year. It's going to take a long time to do it. Um... You don't think I'm like the <laughs> You've just read my blog because I did it in two seconds, but this is the whole power of TV, by the way. Did you realise that? You don't know. We'll get there. So everything's done now, isn't it? You've got. Yeah, so I've got. Um, no, I'm going to try the butter. I'm going to put scone. Um, what jam are we putting in? Mr. Ch Mr. Chowdhury knows his jams now. Um, I just know that there's red. Mellow. Red jam. Mellow cherry. You know that. Stop writing them off. Marmalade. So how, how long is the cooking process for the curry? About right. ten more minutes. Is it? It's not until the chicken's just tender. Well, I think it is. It is more or less there. We're just waiting for the other scones. I'm just going to give it 10 more minutes. I'll still give it about 5 10 minutes. And then the garam masala. Let me just let me just whip the cream up and then I'll add some garam masala. It's really nice. Looks really Salma's good. Salma's going. She's saying bye. Okay, Sal. See because you of the uh, the disaster the with the disaster scones. with the <laughs> You're just going to say. <laughs> She's got to eat them. That's the only thing. That's the only problem with her. Right, so that's nearly uh, Sheila says she needs coffee. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't mind that. Sheila always needs coffee. It's because she wakes up and watches TV and then goes, oh, now I need Sheila. I know what, her routine very well. What are you eating with the chicken bin rice? Rutti, definitely. You can't have really rice. It really is a, a rutti dish. It's got to be. David was using the posh word for this curry, by the way. What was the posh wording for it? Murrah bindi. I don't know. What's the, what's the dirty words for it? I said that's way too posh. You were telling me on, on Facebook the other day. So it'll be Mur Bindi Buna Buna Bur Mur Bindi or something. I don't know. Something like that. I've got a clue. Couldn't tell you. Will we get this whisk up in time? Will we get this whisk up in time? Maybe this. Should we throw some garam masala on that and make that look pretty? Yeah, I think that'll take a lot longer than your timing here. So the last step of the curry okay. is... is Right, so don't forget my two garam masalas. I always refer to the both of them, Joe and I. One's darker and very different, smooth, and one's the home ground one. So we use both of them. Some people will use one, some people use both. It's entirely your choice. I like the smell of it, I like the taste of it. So I'm going to put that on. Sheila will eat it with the rice. I suppose you no, can. No, I like it, I like it with... It's with your own... I think we've been bought up with Ruddy with it, that's probably the reason why. I think that's the reason why so. You Bengalis, come on, you eat your rice, come on, you're here, they do. They do. She does. A rice with uh, everything. That wasn't a racist. No, it wasn't. She'll, she'll know. She eats rice with everything they do. Everything yeah. is with boiled rice. Yeah. No. Sheila knows what I mean. She'll call me for everything as well, so don't worry about it. I've known her for about a million years. The Okra's kind of split. Really nice. It's split okra. Yep, hasn't that's it? nice. That's what's giving its flavour. This is why you don't put okra in mixed veg curry. Because it's got a very distinct. And you can smell that. Smell it. No, you can. Very distinct flavour, isn't it? Looking really good. So I'm going to put some of it inside there. We'll probably turn this off in a minute. Uh, David says, do you, grind all your, do you grind all your spices? Yep. No, you only. No, you just the, the garam masala, masala one. The whole garam masala one. Just yeah. that one. That's it. We get the whole packet. I'll be grinding that one, not all the other spices, no. Yeah. Can't find the raw ingredients. Well, you could no, find a all. turmeric bulb and then grind it because it's like ginger. Still going to leave that about 10 more minutes or so on simmer because to me, the chicken probably still needs about 10 minutes, regardless of what he says. Okay, so you need it till the chicken is so tender it's falling off the bone, otherwise your mother won't be happy, you know that. Your mum was your mum tired from yesterday. Your mum has a meal on today. Niece, where's your, where's your mum? Mum's watching it with everyone. Is she? Niece, mum, is mother watching Fozia messing up, not putting <laughs> butter in? <laughs> Do everything wrong with those guns. <laughs> <laughs> I will get this whipped up. You know, Mr. Blog did it in like two minutes, but I do think that was a power of TV. Might have been I think so. I didn't whiz past it, I went past it, and then past it. It paused it, and then yeah. just. Because well, how can you tell? It is, it's getting thicker as I'm talking to you. Genuinely, it's getting 
same thicker, you know. That's what, I don't know the phrase of a teacher said that once. <laughs> You're getting thicker as I'm talking to you. Something <laughs> wrong with you. What? It's actually getting quite, it is starting to, it is starting to thicken up, people. Of course, he's adding air. So next it. week, I think the theory is the chicken, tandoori chicken, but with the charcoal version. Mm. And I think we're doing. I think we've all voted on. How are you going to do the charcoal thing? Are you cooking outside? You've got about no what, charcoal in the pan. You've got about loads of bags of coal outside, by the way. Because we like, yeah, oh, I see what you mean. Outside. Yeah, so you're going to light it. You're going to light the charcoal where? Here. In oh, what I device? I do what I do. I can know where I was with the scone. Um, Bozia is going to create Burn a fire <laughs> inside. And she just said, I know what I'm doing. Yeah. Okay, we're nearly there. So what I'm going to do is cut up... A fire scone. extinguisher on standby. <laughs> Open the scone and put one on. Let's have a look. See how the scone is. Let's have a look how the scone is now. Let's put the jam on. I don't think. Uh, it'll take a while to do that. No, please. it won't. You just gonna open one up and two up so they can cool down, buddy. That's the only reason why I'm making it up. Right, so we're gonna open it up. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, so they're ready and let them just let the steam come out of it a little bit more. Because it's that. Yep. Yeah. The boys will be tucking into her. <sighs> She's getting tired now. I'm not actually. I'm actually with. You know, I had three marshmallows for breakfast. I'm on, I was on. What are you using being, the marshmallows for? To eat. So I was booging away with the kids at like half nine this morning and they were just looking at me and then I can't explain that I'm on a sugar high at half nine this morning. You haven't explained what you're using the marshmallows on. So, to eat. I don't know we're going to eat them, but what are they? That you just create them as a side product? Yeah. There's so marshmallows. Sarah wants to her hot chocolate drink tonight. Um, I've got a couple of friends that asked me for some. We're going to eat them. That's what you do with marshmallows. It's a sweet. I'm going to work on Turkish Delight next week. If I get that right, we might put that on. But well, everyone's, everyone's tucking into theirs already. They just, <laughs> everyone's finished their scones. They're eating them now. How dare they? They're eating them. You said they're eating the scones. Lisa says hers are delicious. They're a little bit flat, but they are delicious. No, wait until my cream. Have you whipped up the cream? I've got a, they have you know not what? whipped up the cream. <laughs> I haven't. want cream and jam with mine. I want cream and jam. Me. Oh, can you whip over now? Can you can do I some whipping? Can whip over? Can you do some whipping now? No. <laughs> <laughs> this is a punishment for thinking you could do it in 10 minutes. Come on. <laughs> and do you know what? I'm waiting for the curry to finish and the other scones to finish, which is why we're doing this, okay? That's the only reason why we're waiting. Because to me, the chicken does need. See, in the machine, it would have taken seconds. I took it out of the kitchen. You know what? I take it out of here just to give us more space. You know, normally this is full of loads of utensils. It's got this coffee machine. It's got my blender. It's got me, my blender. It's got everything. It's got two big blenders normally here. So, now you can see the viscosity has changed. Uh, David says, I'm getting whipped. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Come on, get your hand whisks out to be the queen. Do it properly. Just because I forgot to get clotted cream and I spotted I had to get the cream this morning to bang with. I think that's done. Yeah, it's nearly there. Now I don't want to pour down the sides. Right, I'm going to have a break by turning my... Let's see how the dreaded scones turn out like. Oh. Do you know what they look all right? I think they're okay. Well, it's all in the taste though because we're still... Hang on, are they cooked? No, we've got to put it back in. I've just turned it, remember? You have to turn your oven around. You've got to turn your oven around. <laughs> your tray around. That looks good. Now that looks good. Smells good. You can smell the bindi. You can see that the sauce is a deeper red now. 
Yeah, you can definitely smell that. It's almost there. It is actually, it's nearly there. Should but you know what, it's there. put it by the heat, and the heat will help it go thick quite quickly. Oof! You're very tired now. Do have a lie down after this, I think? Look, how good is that? Right, so let's finish off. Right, let's get some cream onto here. It's gonna be cream and jam, sorry. Where's the jam? I'm gonna get it out. Make sure you don't over whip it as well, then we'll get excited. They lied to us on TV. So it takes about 10 minutes to do a proper whip. See, that was worth it, wasn't it? Yes, I'm happy now. Right. This definitely this this reminds me of Eat More. Yes, That's it a does. Lot. <gasps> I thought you put no, a lot of lot. cream on there, look. No, leave it alone. See what you can do in ten minutes. Okay, can I just go no. sleep fast? So I've got my favourite jam out. What's my favourite jam? Morello. Cherry. Sorry, so it is cream and jam first in my eye. Because the cream holds the jam. This is the thing. I don't know what anybody says. Top it up. How good is that? Right, there's that. There's that. And let's get some curry out into a bowl. Okay. Right, if you take those over there, and I'll put some curry there, and treat you some. To go over to the table and whip that. And whip that. Whip that. Right, so this is the end result, everyone. Yep, that's what I'm trying to say. Curry is on its way. Right, so we have got some scone there, we have got some chicken bindi there, and we will show a picture hopefully of the other scones if they're half decent later on. And we're done. <laughs> so I think we've got plans for next week already. I think we're on it. Um, everybody, hopefully you've all enjoyed and had a bit of fun with me missing my butt from other scones and calling it a complete disaster. Um, and we shall see you next week. We'll uh, give you a report on the other scones I was in in as soon as we've we'll eaten them. <laughs> well, I think they're going to be okay. I, I think, think they'll be, be all right. Fine. Okay, so have fun. Um, be good. And we'll see you next Sunday. Say bye, Mr. Chowdhury. Bye-bye, Mr. Chowdhury. Bye, everybody.